Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about the top 10 greatest female batsmen of all time. Before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. A batsman is a person who stands in front of the wickets and defends them from being hit by the bowler's ball. Batting entails hitting the ball and scoring runs. A batsman is a vital member of the team, as each stroke brings his team closer to victory. An accomplished batsman can fool the opposing team's bowlers. The 10 Greatest Female Batsman Ever Number 10. Anjum Chopra Indian cricketer Anjum Chopra is the first woman to play 100 ODIs for India. The Indian government awarded her the Arjuna and Padma Shri Awards in 2007 and 2014. Anjum scored 548 runs at 30.44 in 20 innings out of 12 test matches between 1995 and 2006. Her career included two not-out test innings, four half-centuries, and a best test score of 98. From 1995 to 2012, Chopra scored 2,856 runs in 127 ODIs, with a batting average of 31.38. Anjum had 21 unbeaten ODI innings, a century and 18 half-centuries, and her highest international ODI score was 100. Fans labeled her one of the finest female cricketers ever. She belongs among the top 10 female batsmen of all time. Number 9. Denise Annitz Denise Audrey Annitz, a former Australian female cricketer, also played for the New South Wales Breakers. She batted right-handed and bowled right-arm leg spin. Carroll scored 819 runs with an 81.90 batting average in 13 innings out of 10 test matches between 1987 and 1992. Her career included three unbeaten test innings, two centuries, six half-centuries, and a top test score of 193. From 1985 through 1993, Annett scored 1126 runs in 43 ODIs, with a batting average of 41.70. Carroll had 12 not-out ODI innings, a century and eight half-centuries, and her highest international ODI score was 100 not-out. She is now ranked ninth among the best 10 female batsmen of all time. Number 8. Belinda Clark Belinda Jane Clark, former Australian women's cricket captain, was the first woman to score a double century in ODI. Her ICC Cricket Hall of Fame induction was in 2011. Between 1991 and 2005, Belinda scored 919 runs at a batting average of 45.95 in 25 innings out of 15 international test matches. Her career included five unbeaten test innings, two hundreds, six half-centuries, and a top test score of 136. From 1991 to 2005, Belinda scored 4,844 runs in 118 ODIs, with a batting average of 47.49. She had 12 unbeaten ODI innings, 530 half-centuries, with a top score of 229 not out. Clark deserves to be ranked 8th among the top 10 female batsmen of all time. Number 7. Karen Rolton. Karen Louise Rolton was an Australian left-handed batsman and occasional left-arm medium-pace bowler. The International Cricket Council named her Female Player of the Year in 2006. Between 1995 and 2009, Rolton scored 1,002 runs at an average of 55.66 in 22 innings of 14 test matches. The highest test score of her career was 209 not out, including two century and five half-centuries. From 1995 to 2009, Rolton scored 4,814 runs in 141 ODIs, with a batting average of 48.14. She had 32 unbeaten ODI innings, 833 half-centuries, with a top score of 154 not out. She is presently one of the top 10 female batsmen ever. Number 6. Claire Taylor. Samantha Clare Taylor, a former English top-order batsman, was the first female West End Cricketer of the Year, nominated for ICC Women's Cricketer of the Year in 2007 and 2008. 
player scored 10 30 runs in 15 test matches at a batting average of 41.20, and she did it between 1999 and 2009. She has two no-out test innings, Taylor had four centuries and two half-centuries, with a 177 test score. Taylor scored 4,101 runs in 126 ODIs from 1998 to 2011 with a batting average of 40.20. She had 18 unbeaten ODI innings, 823 half-centuries, with a best score of 156 not out. Taylor deserves to be ranked 6th among the best 10 female batsmen of all time. Number 5. Carol Hodges Carol Cornthwaite is the former England women's cricketer Carol Hodges. She batted right-handed and bowled off-break right. Carol scored 11.64 runs with a 40.13 batting average in 18 test matches. Between 1984 and 1992, she did so in international tests. She has two no-out test innings. On top of that, he scored two centuries and six half-centuries, including 158 not-out. Carroll scored 1073 runs in 47 ODIs. From 1982 to 1993, she averaged 32.51 in ODIs. She had six unbeaten ODI innings. Hodges scored two century and three half centuries in 113 international one-day matches. She belongs among the top 10 female batsmen of all time. Number 4. Debbie Hockley Former New Zealand captain Deborah and Hockley captain New Zealand in six international test matches. Her ICC Cricket Hall of Fame induction happened in 2013. Debbie scored 1301 runs in 19 test matches with a batting average of 52.04. Between 1979 and 1996, she did so in international tests. She has four no-out test innings. The highest test score of 126 not out was scored by Hockley. Debbie scored 4,064 runs in 118 ODIs. From 1982 through 2000, she averaged 41.89 in ODIs. She had 18 unbeaten ODI innings. Her greatest international one-day match score was 117, with 4 century and 34 half centuries. Debbie is now the fourth best female batsman ever. Number 3. Mithali Raj In 2002, Indian women's cricket captain Mithali Raj surpassed the world record for best individual test score by a female cricketer, 209, by scoring 214. In 2015, she received the Indian Padma Shri Award. Mithali batted 51.00 and scored 663 runs. Between 2002 and 2014, she batted in 16 innings in 10 test matches. She has three no-out test innings. Raj also scored one century, four half-centuries and a 214 test score. Mithali Raj scored six, 720 runs in 203 ODIs. From 1999 to 2020, she batted 51.29 in ODIs. Mithali had 40 unbeaten ODI innings. 7 centuries, 52 half centuries, and a top international one-day score of 125 not out, Mithali is ranked third among the top 10 female batsmen of all time. She has also made cricket one of India's most popular sports. Number 2. Jeanette Britton Jeanette in Britain was a right-handed batsman and off-break bowler for the England women's squad in the 1980s and 1990s. Jeanette scored 1935 runs in 44 innings of 27 test matches, batting at 49.61. Between 1979 and 1998, she did so in international tests. She has five no-out test innings. Britain had five centuries and 11 half-centuries with a 167 test score. Jeanette scored 2,121 runs in 63 ODIs. From 1979 through 1998, she batted 42.42 in ODIs. Britain had nine unbeaten ODI innings. Women's One Day Internationals, 138 not out, with five centuries and eight half centuries. She belongs among the top 10 greatest female batsmen ever. 
Number 1. Charlotte Edwards. To date, only one female player has scored two 0 runs in international 2020 cricket, former England captain Charlotte Marie Edwards. In 2014, she was one of five Wistan Cricketers of the Year. Charlotte batted 44.10 and scored 1676 runs. Between 1996 and 2015, she did it in 42 innings out of 23 test matches. She has five no-out test innings. She also got four centuries and nine half centuries with a 117 test score. Charlotte scored 5,992 runs in 191 ODIs. From 1997 to 2016, she had a 38.16 batting average in ODIs. She had 23 unbeaten ODI innings. A 173-run international one-day match score was 9 centuries and 46 half-centuries for Edwards. Without a doubt, she is the best female batsman ever. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.